So that's where it went. Decades after losing her contact lens, a woman finally managed to find it, embedded right in her eyelid. A 42-year-old British woman noticed a slight swelling over her left eye that became large and painful in a span of six months, prompting her to see a specialist. Doctors conducted an MRI and discovered a small 6-millimeter cyst embedded in her eyelid. When the cyst was surgically removed, it broke open to reveal a hard contact lens inside, even though the patient had not worn any for more than 20 years. Her mother later recalled that the woman got hit in the left eye with a shuttlecock as a teen. The rigid contact she was wearing was assumed lost, but it apparently stayed in the eyelid for 28 years. The woman's left eyelid had been droopy for a long time, but had no other symptoms indicative of a trapped contact lens. So it's still a mystery why the swelling and inflammation happened nearly three decades after the incident. Take care of those peepers. Florida woman accidentally superglues her eyes shut. Catherine Gatos says she spent more than a week with a stuck eyelid after a friend mistakenly handed her superglue instead of an eye drop. After the man inadvertently blew debris into her eye with a leaf blower, the single mother of two found herself frantically asking him to grab Visine out of her purse late last month. Rather than the eye drops though, the foolish friend, adding injury to injury, instead reportedly handed Katie the bottle of glue she uses to apply false fingernails. His unfortunate mistake was all too obvious the moment the liquid hit Katie's eye, as it left her cornea burning like a California grass fire and tightly sealed her two left eyelids shut. Katie immediately sought help and quickly got preliminary treatment, but lacking both money and insurance was denied a necessary follow-up. Luckily though, after word got out about her story, Katie finally got the attention she so desperately needed and a doctor was able to quite literally pry her eye open. Once the remaining glue is scraped off her cornea, doctors say she'll eventually gain back her eyesight and won't suffer any long-term damage. Ever wonder what staring at an eclipse will do to your eye? A woman in New York found out firsthand how a solar eclipse fries your peepers after coming away from the Great American Eclipse with a crescent-shaped eye burn. Naya Payne had peeked at the eclipse with her naked eye for a few seconds before borrowing glasses from a woman nearby. The 26-year-old didn't know what eclipse glasses were supposed to look like, but claims the sun still seemed bright through the pair she had on. Hours later, she noticed her vision getting blurry and she began seeing a weird dark spot. She lost partial vision in her left eye the next day. Doctors examining her eyes were shocked to find that the damaged area in the left retina was crescent-shaped, making it look exactly like the eclipse. They suspect that the glasses she used were either defective or fake, which allowed solar radiation to penetrate through and cause retinal damage. The condition known as solar retinopathy is permanent and is currently untreatable. Instead, Payne has had to retrain her vision to cope, but she'll probably have a permanent crescent-shaped void in her sight for the rest of her life. Model's eyeball inking goes dreadfully wrong. Meet Kat Gallander. She's a 24-year-old model from Ottawa, Canada. As you can tell from these photos, she's a fan of getting inked. Recently, she was convinced by a tattoo artist to try something a bit more extreme in the form of a purple eye tattoo. But that procedure went oh so horribly wrong. It went so bad that the infected eye began seeping purple ink. Immediately after the botched inking, Kat went to hospital. There, she was put on a course of antibiotics, but they caused the eye to swell and become completely shut. Next, docs tried steroid treatment, but they made the infection clump. And chances are, Kat's now going to have some sort of permanent vision damage. She shared her story because she doesn't want others to suffer the same fate. The procedure's creator, Luna Cobra, inked his first eyeball tattoo 10 years ago and filmed it. He says this inspired many unqualified copycats around the globe. Cobra told Newsweek this happens all the time all over the world. He's trying to get it banned. Not as harmless as you thought. Doctors in London are warning against the dangers of Nerf guns after at least three people suffered serious injuries from getting hit in the eye. Nerf guns are toys that shoot soft foam projectiles. Official replacement bullets are widely available, but generic ones are cheaper. They're also harder and have more potential to cause injury. Nerf video tutorials abound online, with some giving instructions on how to modify the toy gun to make it shoot faster and farther. Patients who were hit in the eye with Nerf projectiles reportedly complained of blurred vision and pain. 
Doctors later discovered their eyes were inflamed, and blood was pooling in the anterior chamber. Both the cornea and retina had also developed swelling. Fortunately, after being given eye drops, their sight returned to normal in just a few weeks. Such eye trauma may not always lead to permanent vision loss, but could result in a long-term condition like glaucoma. Experts recommend wearing safety glasses to minimize the danger. Nerf manufacturer Hasbro warns people not to aim the guns at people's eyes or face. It's also pretty basic common sense. Still, nothing wrong with being too careful. This is why you should keep your sunroof closed. As reported by the Canadian press, a woman in Canada is claiming that an afternoon drive last month turned into a devastating experience for her and her son when she says human feces fell from the sky and into her eyes. 53-year-old Susan Allen says she and her 21-year-old son Travis Sweet were in their car, returning from having lunch with their mother, when something really smelly fell through the sunroof of their car and onto their faces. According to Allen, the substance appeared to have fallen from a plane that was flying overhead with the icky stuff covering their car. She claims that what was later suspected to be human poop fell right into their eyes. Allen says she and her son went to a car wash where they sprayed themselves off before calling Kelowna Airport to report what happened. An administrator reportedly told her Transport Canada would be investigating, but it was possible the goo falling from the sky was frozen lavatory waste, otherwise known as blue ice. Girl, that's not how you do it. A woman in Bangkok, Thailand learned not to wear her makeup in a moving taxi the hard way after the vehicle slammed into a truck. The unnamed woman in her 20s was applying eyeliner in a slow-moving traffic jam in the Bangkok area. And suddenly, the driver crashed into a pickup truck in front of them, and the impact was so strong that it forced the eyeliner pencil into her left eye socket. That's not gonna look pretty. Paramedics came quickly and luckily the pencil missed the vital parts of her eye and her sight will be unaffected. Whew. The woman was taken to the hospital where doctors were able to remove the pencil without further injuring the woman's eye. Well, girlfriends, this story should serve as a warning for some of you who do your makeup in a moving car, because accidents can happen. Maybe it's better to put it on before you leave the house?